Huh. What? For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. Ooh! How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Right? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? No. No, I don't. Of course I don't. Oh, get wrecked. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. I'm down for this plan. Try it out. Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Oh. Uh. Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. <laughs> all that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Told you! It's murder! Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> <laughs> this guy is exactly like me. Why can't I be that guy? Shh! You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? Hey, I'm not in the fucking, like, you know, your freaking lovey dovey game bullshit. I'm in the real murder! Mad stuff! All I am saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. Why, are you gonna do it? You should try it out tonight, whatever. I don't feel like it though. I'm actually hungry and now I gotta make an episode and then I gotta go. Oh look, she made like a <sighs> damn awesome lunch. Another dinner alone in Nanako. If you follow the call, don't worry. Strong silent type! Go to him. Go. <sighs> what a day. Long day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? She made food, but she didn't tell me how did she made bacon. No. You're late again. Bacon! I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Right? Can you put the news on for me? No. That's not where the... Is that where the... Okay, wait, yeah, you're right. Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Foggy Inaba! Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. We talked about that yesterday. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Oh my Namatari, god, I get it. ...husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. Yes, yes it is. You know, an affair, and now she's dead. Could this incident be tied with their lover's quarrel? Yes. The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Okay. <sighs> an interview with a kid? <sighs> Where the hell did they find her? Stop yawning! You're making me want to yawn! What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Let's act like fucking 12-year-olds and ask questions that don't really need answers. Uh, um. Oh, okay. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Oh. Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? Yeah, see, now you're on our shit. No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Are we really gonna prod into her life? Huh? That's... Yeah, like, really. Look closely, she reminds you of Tsaki. Yokini Senpai. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. Right? <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. Exactly. Shut up. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Or the killer. Yes, but so far... No one has come forward to take credit for the crime. Well, actually, I, now that I realize they're both the same thing. <sighs> Love to bring calls, though. Please stop yawning. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? 
Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide. Who's going to run up to a fucking, like, antenna and just die? No one! What about any wounds? Bullet shots? Come on, bro. Cleaver. We'll be right back after these messages. Up oh, here it comes. At Tunis, motherfucker. Every day is customer appreciation day. Come see Who's for ready for this stupid fucking jingle? Cuz I am. Every day's great at your Tunis. Hey, right, everybody this time. Every day's great at your Tunis. Hey dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? No, no we cannot. <laughs> sleepy sleep, sleep, sleepy sleep. No. Sleep! <laughs> Called it. Someone hand me that phone because I'm calling it. Jeez. Every day, great at your Juness. No, 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 no. Okay, um, well obviously it's time to save, and then it's time for the fucking save, yes, yes. Every day we know your newness. Can I just check the TV? Okay, so rain, 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 more fucking rain, then the sun, then the sun, then so, okay, cool. I've already seen it though, I don't give a shit. What's in this room? Nothing. Alright, god damn it. Give me some fridge stuff. Nothing catches my eye. I don't buy anything. Alright, cool. Whatever. I already saved, so let's go and do the thing. Yes! Screw it, let's go do it. High school, the game! It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look in the TV on a rainy night. Could this retarded story be true? Let's find out together! Here, on Persona 4! Oh, motherfucker, I still didn't check if there's any subtitles. Does this guy have a voice? <laughs> Brain flux! Oh, hot damn. Man, I am tripping really hard. Did you see it? Who was it? Was she hot? Oh, okay, that's happening. Oh, whoa, okay. That's new. Fight! Fight the TV! Ow, damn! Damn, that hurt. Ow. Ow, whatever. Are you okay? No! The TV tried to eat me! Um, fucking kind of, I guess. Okay. Thanks. Well, good night. Yeah, go back to sleep. I'm fine. Nautica seems to have returned to her room. What the hell just happened indeed? You decide to talk about it with the others tomorrow. I could just lie to them. 
October 14th. You know what's funny? I swear to God, if it rains on October 14th, I quit all of this. My name is Kenny. You know, I started this at a great time. Hey, guys, if it's like October 14th when I post this, which I am calling right now that it probably is, and it's raining wherever you are, please post that it's raining, so that way I can be all, like, handing you a phone to say that I called it. Uh, hello, my name is Kisa Matsui Fei, and I don't know much when, you know, about world history. I don't know how much you know, but I'm an expert. First of all, I'm a pharaoh for some reason. I actually dress like the Sphinx, but for some reason, I think that I know a lot about that. I love to use my dust to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past, and it flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy this profound history together. <laughs> and since it's my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transferee, Mr. The Hero, yeah! Please stand up. Alright, so what's up? When did AD, in other words, Anna Dom Domini, begin? When Jesus was born, when humans were born? Oh, wait. Um, uh, I, I, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say when humans were born. Also, that's probably a lie, but I'm gonna go, wait, the nation was founded, <laughs> I'm gonna go on a little limb here, and just say when a nation was founded, I think it's correct. <laughs> we call it BC, stands for, what, motherfuck. What? Oh, okay. Ah, the doctor in Western Europe for the 15th century. It was around that time that there were many religion wars and power shifts occurring. Blah, 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 blah. Learning! Most holidays are related to religion, you know. If you do some research, you may find some interesting facts. But regardless of the culture of the tradition, decide to decides who will survive in the present and the future. And those survivors will ensure that you pass down to the next generation! So well, now it's time to start. From the beginning, let's take a look at the origin of civilization. Can I sit down? I gave the incorrect answer. What do I lose? Like, less intelligence? I'm pretty stupid, I'm sorry. I'm not the smartest, and I will admit that. What's up with the body being hung upside down? It's so freaky. Hold on, I'm, why do I have a call coming in? Is it supposed Hello? to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. Hello? My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Well, I don't know who that was, but hopefully they'll call me back because that was kind of weird on my end. Y yo. Yo, um, what up? What's up? It's, a. Uh, it's not really that important, but... Well... Yesterday on TV, I... What, 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 what? Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Alright. That works for me, too. Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? I don't... Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. Really? I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today, either. Well, then. Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today, too? Yes, yes, she is. Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Nah, don't worry about it. You'll live. Is it just me, or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out? What you? I guess they're running her ragged. That's mean. <gasps> By the way! Did you see it last night? Maybe. Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl. But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? Wink nudge. I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform and... Oh, really? Hey, I think that's the same... Person. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, 
Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? Does that mean we have the same soulmate? No, shut up. How should I know? I don't. Damn it! Did you see it? Well, we're gonna have to quickly try to find a save point after this, because this is gonna go kind of crazy. It sounds like we all saw the same... But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. No, I'm not, I'm not kidding. I didn't That'd be know. one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. That's pretty realistic. Well, if it had been bigger, then... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Why is that normal conversation? Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want right. to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Fallen. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. Fallen. Ah! Oh. We got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> see, that was an easy joke I would have done. Good work. I don't believe you at all. If to go to Junez, then it sucks. I I seriously need to hurry up and find a fucking save point. But I don't I'm fucked. Wow, this is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? My family does. I don't know. Rich folks? I'm not rich, shut up! Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. I see. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Free is always good. Oh, we're making those jokes, huh? Nope. Can't get in. Figures. Oh, cute. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. You're all assholes. Besides, these flat-screen TVs are so thin, you'd just end up on the other side. Thanks. 